Hello everyone, welcome back to Bellatro. I'm still trying the 10 round challenge. So, Matador, and $10 if the played hand triggers the boss blind ability. All hearts are debuffed. All right, skip this, skip this, select this. Now, if we can play a bunch of hearts, we can earn a bunch of money. $10. Okay, it's only once per hand, good to know. And we still, of course, have to actually win the round. So, row the small stuff. Let's go full house, kings full of nines with a heart. 340 points. We could do a straight. Probably should. Okay, one hand left. We need 30... 29 points. Two pair with 13 chips. 20 times 2 plus 13 is... 33 times 2 is 66. And we have $34 plus this $15... Plus interest on all of that money. One in five chance for a polychrome joker. Please. One time. <laughs> okay. Plus four of a kind. Not helpful to me. But polychrome for 1.5x multiplier is incredible. Shoot for the moon. We don't need it. I am going to take hone. And then we need something for basic scoring. This is five dollars to earn ten dollars though i'm gonna buy it and then buy another joker and then use it i imagine oh my god okay use this because this is going to cost ten dollars but allow me to go into debt no i do use this first i buy this then this is now worth $15 to me, so I use this. No, I buy this. I'm at minus three. Now this is worth $17 to me. And we try and make this work. Rare Joker, Gold Seal card, all clubs are debuffed. But we can still earn more money out of Matador. I want to have zero discards remaining to get this plus 10 multi bonus. I also want this holographic 10 multi to go ahead of this 1.5x all malt. I don't think I'm going to be able to get four of a kind to go reliably, so I'm not going to try. So, you know what? Let's play two pair nines and tens. I want to get rid of my discards first. Okay, so now this gives us an extra 10 multi. So there's a pair of nines. That scores 600 points, and we get 10 extra dollars. Then here is two pair. That's 1,600 points and 10 extra dollars again. So we get five interest off that. Smeared Joker. Suits are grouped into red and black. I don't know that this really helps me. What will help me is more interest. I don't think I need another Jack of Spades unless we get hit the road jack it would be incredible to have but for seven dollars i don't think i need it what's our next boss all club cards are debuffed that's fine this is going to re-roll the boss first so in that case we don't know what the boss is i would still like some more base multiplier scoring somehow well this is foil for 30 chips so you don't say no to that 
One in four chance of 2x multi for each club played. Face chips give plus 20 chips when played. This is holographic, so I want to keep it. We could say goodbye to Matador now, even though it has gotten us heaps of money so far. This is giving me 30 chips, so I don't know that we need Scary Face. This is kind of a gamble. I'll do this. And we'll try and get lucky with what we've got. Skip this. This changes to subtract discards from multi. So if I leave one discard for it to subtract, I think we should get $40 out of this. Uh, we could look for four of a kind. Now we're not going to get the Mystic Summit bonus if we don't discard a bunch of stuff, which is a whole other consideration. Let's play a full house and just see how much that is worth to us. It does have two clubs in it. Two thousand points, that's fine. I think I got ten dollars. So we've got three hands left. Let's go two pair. Another ten dollars. And we could play one pair and then try and play something better. to get the extra $10 out of this again. All right, I'm still pretty happy with how that went. Defeat the boss blind, 10 extra, I don't know, 10 max, seven extra interest. Zany for extra points on three of the kinds. I'm gonna take telescope. 10 extra on three of the kinds. Plus 10 when zero discards remaining. I'm going to drop this. Or this. Roll once. Oh my god, it's blueprint. We have to take blueprint. We just do. Um, what are we getting rid of for blueprint? Probably Matador at this stage. We buy blueprint. I'm going to put it in against... Onyx Agate until I have reason to put it somewhere else specifically like Zany Joker. This doesn't qualify against this. This is compatible with that and this. Next round. Planetarium. Shop has an uncommon Joker. One in seven cards. Face down. Three of a kind. Flush, straight, pair or straight flush. Let's go for the three of a kind because we currently have Zany Joker. Right. Um, we don't have the boss effect money synergy anymore, so we don't care about how often we do or do not see stuff face down. But I would like to play Club Flushes, given the opportunity. This is just plus one multi. This is ten, three of a kind on tens. This is plus ten multi then this is going to give us 2x for each club, and this is going to give us a chance a chance at 2x for each club. So let's see how this goes. Well, I didn't see any, which is upsetting. 2,601 points. Let's discard these and look for trips. This is a king, which is great. This is plus 10 if the played hand contains three of a kind. So I'm going to move this to here and play a full house that contains three of a kind and get a plus 20 multiplier on it. That gets us the points we need. Good money. No, no, maybe. We could just keep trying to get three of a kind upgraded over and over and over and over again. 
perhaps? Or would I rather not do that and spend my money on rerolls looking for... Because we do have vouchers, foil, polychrome, and hollow are more frequent. And so I think there's better stuff to be found. Adds the number... Oh, this is negative. Plus one joker slot. Adds the number of times poker hand has been played to the multi. So two pair is an extra four multiplier for free. Full house is an extra three multiplier for free. But because it's negative, it's supplemental to our other jokers, which is incredible. Tens for flush, 20 chips for odd ranked chips. Easier to make three of a kind than a flush. All right. Do I roll once more? One more. Four flushes and money for discards. I don't think we play it. Okay. Skip, skip, no straights. Full house. I would love to see a nine or an eight, please, game. That's an eight with two clubs. You are copying this. I think that's best for us right now. Yeah. It's 8,000, that's basically half of what we need. Let's throw all this small stuff, look for bigger stuff, or we could play, oh, no straights, we could play flush. It's not a strong flush, but it is a flush. Doesn't contain three of a kind. Doesn't contain any clubs. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, there's a full house. This is copying one with trips. We get the club value. We don't. But that is enough points, of course. Supernova is giving us more points the more jokers, uh, the more full houses we play on future full houses. Oh my god. It's a negative hit the road, Jack. That's incredible. So we buy this. Obviously. Extra one times multi per discarded Jack this round. Currently times one. We could take the chance to reroll boss antis. What's our current boss ante? Run info. Lines. No straights. Defeated. Skip, skip. To okay, so this is not what we are about to face. That's me being obtuse. Um, do I care about a three of spades? I don't think I do. Do I care about rerolling boss plans? Well, I'd have to sell something to be able to afford this. Also, that's probably going to sit there for a while. Let's hit the next round. Skip this. Two extra hands. Skip that. Discards one random card. Sure. Two pair or pair, we go two pair. Let's see all of the jacks. Well, start with a full house, right? This is going to copy that. Because we have six hands. I could discard three cards looking for Joe, for jacks to then throw, but I'd rather get rid of five cards and cycle through more stuff and increase our supernova. Seven thousand points. There are two jacks. Seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen. But the straight is not worth it for the discarding of two jacks. So then, this is definitely now copying that to triple stuff. Uh, ten, nine, eight, seven, six is pretty good. Play that. Yes. We get value out of a club, and that gets us to where we're going. Reroll bosses once per ante. I think so. Just in case we hit an awful boss. Keep the rest of our money. Go to the next hand. 
Skip. Skip. No full houses. I think I can deal with. We can play regular trips. We can play other stuff. We are only on four hands, though. But, like, if it was something like can't play hands with pairs in, that would be much worse. But I think we're going to try and stick it out with no full houses. Are we? Hmm. We played more full houses than anything else. A 60 times 5 is so much more than a 30 times 3. Are the... We go escape and collection. Blinds. This is the house. No, this is the head. Oh, so these are not in like tiered lists then. Like, these ones have the marking to be, like, 10th level boss jokers. But the rest, I s assume, are reasonably random then. So then I will spend $10 to reroll this. Oh, God. <laughs> I hate it. Show me. Show me four of a kind. And all of my jacks. Okay. We have to try and cycle through discarding jacks. We've already seen one eight. Just keep getting rid of eights. Okay, we have one discard left. We will hold that discard. This is copying that, which is good. And we are going to play a full house. I'm going to play aces full of nines. Because I think we can find more kings to do a bigger trips if we have to. This is copying that. Everything else is fine. Play hand. That's half of what we need. Now, we could play a club flush. God, I would love a... Oops, all sixes. That would be incredible right now. Um, do we play a club flush? We would be giving up two pair to do it. How many flushes have we played? Just one. One in four chance to for two x multi for each played card with a suit with a club suit. I think knowing that we can get sixty thousand points out of a full house I would rather look for a full house but then this is my last discard and if I find a jack I want to be able to discard it oh god the decisions fine we're gonna do this club flush Twenty two thousand. Still no more jacks. We can play the baby straight. I don't love it, but... We need to cycle through to hopefully find a bigger hand to finish. We have a diamond flush. Or I can discard the jack. And... Hope that we either... Well, what are our options here? We discard the jack. We could hope to get a diamond back. I've no idea how likely that is. Then we end up just playing a pair of kings. We could throw these three cards. Hope to get a diamond back. And if we don't, play a pair of kings and hopefully something else with that. Or we could just play the diamond flush as is. I might have to crack out a calculator, which is really boring, but the risk reward here is a whole thing. Right, um, calculator. I'm going to do this on my phone rather than trying to pull a computer calculator over. Actually, no, I will pull a computer calculator over. Hold on. Okay, if we played the king high flush... 
for chips it would be 10 20 30 39 46 chips plus if we go to run info it's going to best with the recording i apologize um our current flush is 40 times three and there's two of them so plus 40 chips and we have one foil card is plus 30 chips so that's 116 chips um a flush was what base four so this would be oh god i don't have brackets can i do brackets if i do times no i can't i need scientific notation this is scientific notation. Where's my parentheses? I don't know how to use this calculator. It's 116 chips. So. We've played two of them. Plus a base four multiplier. Plus one from this. No from that. Plus ten from that. Nothing on that necessarily, nothing on that necessarily. And then we triple that. And we triple it again. 72 times, what did we say? Like about 80 chips? 5,700 points. Why does my math on this does not feel like it works out? Give me, give me a second. So I think that flush is worth... 17,748 chips. If I add that to the 102,735 I have, it gets to 120,483. So I think I can do this and be okay. All right, there was an extra 0.5 in there somewhere that I didn't account for, but we got there which is great. Cash out. Don't want these things. If you were a jack, I would buy you. Otherwise, I don't care. Um, I'm going to hold my money because I don't want to re-roll and then buy one thing. But we know we can get to 120,000 points with a good round. Skip, skip. Play only one hand type this round. I hate you. Oh, I can re-roll it. I don't want to get risk stuck not being able to play as many full houses as I would need to. Start all hands with zero chips. I think we can make that work. 100,000 points. Straight flush, high card, flush, three of a kind. We go three of a kind here. Great early jack discards. Love to see it. Must remember, there's only four jacks in the deck. So, you know, there's that. Uh, so at which point I will play a full house here thirty six thousand two discards left Do we play two pair nines and fours just to cycle through more cards I think we can Fourteen thousand. We're halfway there. There's a jack to discard. We do have a flush, and I'll keep the ace. Uh, if no, if I need full houses, uh, if I need full houses. I want to draw into things that I have more of. So we'll hold the flush, discard the rest. That's four discarded jacks, which is what we want to see. Because this is going to times that by four as well, which is even bigger. So, play the flush. Thirty-one thousand. We need eighteen thousand more. I would love to see a ten or an eight out of this discard. We did not. So now we have to decide whether we're going to play two pair or a straight. We might be back at the calculator. 
All right, give me a second to postulate over this. So if I play tens and sixes, because this has a club in it, I can do 62 chips times three plus five plus one plus 10 times four times four on the multiplier will get me at least 18,848. And I need 17,000 and a bit to get to 10,000. So I think I can play this two pair safely. There's, there's some... Oh, because this can give me multipliers that I don't account for, I think. Oh, you know what I've not been doing? I've not been doing the 1.5 multi on all my stuff. I've just been ignoring this joker. So we have a bit more wiggle room than I feared. I would love a death card because, oh my god, if I could put a death card on Jax, I could uh, have more discards of Jax question is what would i get rid of to accommodate more jacks i think it would be the onyx agate if i sold this and buy this now i can't re-roll the boss which is terrifying no repeat hand types this round is very terrifying i cannot i have a credit card i can afford to re-roll this do i want to re-roll it i think i do all spade cards are debuffed. That's fine. Skip this. Skip this. Select this. Pair or two pair? Two pair. We have a jack. Now, here's something for me to keep in mind. We only have... This is anti-9. And then we have to be anti-10. Anti-10 is going to be a higher score than anti-9 is. So, do I hold this for next game, like next round, the 10th round, when the score is bigger, because I can guarantee if I can get one jack in hand, I can have three jacks in hand, making my multiplier at the end much, much bigger, right? So, do I do 8, 7, 6, 5, 4... Do I do this and... Oh, we, we got rid of the, the club thing. I don't care about club's existence anymore. So, all spade cards are debuffed. I definitely don't want to play spades. So I discard this. And just look for big full houses. Well, there's more clubs. Just remember to yourself... Most of the clubs have already gone. There's two jacks. That's great news. If I throw the eights, that'll be fine. Okay, now I would like to start seeing... That is... Oh, that is all the jacks gone. Now, these happen in order. So I don't know if I want 1.5x to go at the end, or before, or whether it makes a difference. I'm really not sure. My, my brain says, no matter what order you put the multiples, multipliers in, the end result is going to be the same. But then this is like 1.5, so does the stacking on halves impact things a great deal, you know? I don't know these things. Um, we've discarded all of our available jacks, so I would rather find a full house early. We did. This contains trips for this, and we've played a bunch of full houses, so we can play this now and it'll be a bit okay. That is a bit okay, yes. Can I find an ace or a six? I cannot, but I have two pair twice. I'm going to play the debuffed two pair first. And... 
and then am I going to play the baby two pair and hunt for a queen? We only need the 25,000 more. And we play two pair a bunch of times. Every time we play two pair, we get better at it. Okay. This might be happening. It's too late for you. I have no money. So we can't re-roll the boss, whatever it is. So, next round. Very large blind. Of course it is. Skip this. Skip this. Select very large blind. Oh no, we can go into debt. However, I think if I can death card Jax, the very large blind might not be the problem part of this all, you know? Oh God, decisions. Because we have credit card, we can go into $20 in debt. So we could reroll this. Let me check the collection in uh, blinds. So, rightmost joker is disabled. Shuffles jokers every hand. All cards debuffed until one joker sold. Very large blind. So, assuming that we're pulling out of this pool and whatever this one is that I don't know. If I had to rightmost a joker to be disabled... I would probably pick Zany Joker or Supernova. Then back to collection. If it's shuffled, I don't think it would be a big problem for us. I think we've got enough things doing big multipliers for us. It would suck to see our um, blueprint not necessarily copy something desirable immediately. Um, all cards debuffed until one joker sold. We could sell one of them. I think I do reroll, you know. I think I reroll. All cards debuffed until one joker sold. I think this will be okay. So, 300,000 to score. Select. Pair or straight flush, we pick pair. There is a jack. I'm not going to do the making of jacks and stuff until we have sold a joker. Is it going to be zany joker? Is it going to be Fortune Teller? This is giving us plus 30 chips. Which is a lot of our chips. This is giving us 10x on our multi, which is a lot of our multi. Supernova. Um, is giving us a 9x on full houses, an 8x on two pair, and not very much otherwise. Uh, but this is only giving us things on trips and full houses. This is giving us our stuff on full houses and two pairs. So we're going to sell this. Everything is back to being available. Then the rest of our deck is a standard distribution right now, right? We haven't made or created anything else. So, this death card is going to make a pair of threes into Jacks of Diamonds, the rightmost card. Don't screw this up now. Use. Then, we discard three Jacks to hit the road Jack. Uh, do we play a full house right away? I think we do. This is copying this. This is a 4x. Uh, have I been thinking that it starts at zero rather than one? Because we've only discarded three. It doesn't matter. Uh, we play a full house. Yes. Ninety thousand. We discard another jack. We play 
another full house. Yes. We have two hands left, one discard. This is awful. Um, I would rather play a hand. So it's going to be a pair of fours. And throw the small stuff, I guess. We need 30,000. We are going to get it because we can discard the last jack. Ah, you butt. But we can play a full house. And that is 10 rounds, 10 antis. And I'm just going to take a quick screenshot of this one second. So then if we go back to the main menu, we should get, we're going to run in 15 or fewer rounds. I don't know what you do, but I have unlocked you now. Then if we check out our collection, I think... That Joker is the only one that we have not discovered now. There's still this blind as a mystery to us. And this blank and redeem blank 10 times. And finally, buy the polychrome edition of your most used Joker. Which will then, when we've got those unlocks, get us the last deck. But for now... That is an incredible victory. I'm very happy with that one. This might have been uploaded out of sequence with the rest of them, just because I'm very excited for this achievement. If you have any questions, comments, recommendations, put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.